take a look around the National FFA Convention. Our Blue Jackets tell the story of a proud organization whose members represent every region of the United States. We are united in a sea of blue, and that's been our story for over 80 years. When I wear this jacket, I feel a sense of responsibility to honor those who wore the jacket before me and to ensure that those who will come after me have the opportunity to wear it as well. At the 86 National FFA Convention, Jonelle Futrell shared her belief about this jacket. We can take any member from anywhere, any day, and give them the opportunity to let their light shine. The valedictorian and the special needs student, they both wear the blue jacket. See, the quarterback, the one who didn't make the team, they both wear the blue jacket. The student who was told that they couldn't cut it in a real class, they need to go work with their hands, they wear the blue jacket. The girl who was told that her hair was too big or too blonde to have an intelligent thought, the one who works every single night to support their family, the person who was born on a ranch in Wyoming, the one who was raised in a downtown Chicago apartment, the student who was termed a redneck, an emo kid, a band geek, a weirdo, a failure, they can all wear the blue jacket. Jonelle's right. We all come from diverse backgrounds and different experiences. But we are united in wearing our blue jackets proudly. Yet, some student members are going without a jacket, and it's not because they want to. For the past three years, I have been living with my single grandmother. She does the best she can with one income, but it is still difficult to make ends meet each month. Receiving a jacket will really help. To own a jacket is to have your own part of your FFA family forever. Memories lie in your jacket. Everything you do in the FFA is a stitch in your jacket. FFA guides you. It gives you the knowledge and the skills you can't learn from just being in a classroom. Coming from a family of 12, I have not had the ability to purchase an FFA jacket. Luckily, my advisor keeps a few old jackets for the people who, like me, have yet to get one. Wearing the blue and gold of the FFA means working with other people towards something that matters and giving the world a brighter future. The National FFA organization, our sponsors, and individual donors have heard these stories. And for the first time in the history of the jacket, an endowment exists to help these students. Don and Myra Ball have endowed a fund that will give 300 jackets annually to FFA members. My teammates and I actually had the opportunity to visit Mr. and Mrs. Ball and what an opportunity that was. We had the chance to give Mr. Ball his very first FFA jacket with his name on it. He told us a story about when he was a kid, his mom would have to re-stitch the name on his older brother's jacket so he could wear it. With the emotion on his face, it was clear to see the passion he has for this organization and this blue jacket. Because of their generous endowment, the National FFA organization has gifted 300 jackets in the past five months to FFA members in over 30 states. Don and Myra Ball are able to help 300 FFA members every year. I want to thank them and thank all of you who have supported various FFA programs over the years. It is my hope that we can help every student who contacts the Give the Gift the Blue program. Now I'm asking you, can you help even one more FFA member to put on their blue jacket? <laughs>